Alright guys, Duck 264 here. Welcome to the video. And today we are here in Fife, Washington at the Arco station. Well, formerly Shell. And we have a uh, Ryko Soft Boss XS2. I believe it's an XS2. Unless it's been retrofitted. Let me check the date. Uh, oh no, it's an XS. From whatever year. Kind of wipe it off a little bit. Yeah, it's an XS. What the hell? This is an XS. Uh, where's the gantry wiper? There it is. Which I don't think it works. It used to work. Actually, no, since it's over here, it probably doesn't work still. Oh my gosh, there's a mask stuck in there. Ugh. Gross. Use your... One of your front arms. It's just one bright. It has a little bit of mold on it. That's kind of gross. Core. I think the brushes are really clean. Other front arm. Also pretty clean. Use your top brush. It's plasticky, kind of... Well, it's foam, but... Those little plastic heat. Here's your tire scrubbers, which I don't think they work. They might. Here's your rear arm. Here's your treadle. Your front one of your front arms. It's huge too. Oh yeah. Here's your other front arm. I mean back rear arm. Yeah, this is actually in great shape. This one's interesting. Clean, dry, shiny. Oh, that's plastic. Okay, I had a feeling. This thing's huge. Yeah, okay, so here's the error code box. Let's see what the error code says. says. No error codes. It's locked, of course. Unless... I'm not going to open it because I don't want to vandalize. Okay, now let's put in the code. Alright. Thank you, and then just pull up to the thing, Mom, okay? Give me the thing, please! Alright, pull up straightly, okay? Pull up to the pay station. What? You, you hate? It's not a big deal. Okay, and then pull up straight. Here, just pull it straight, okay? Straighter, Mom. Okay, actually, you're fine. Actually, just and then you have to turn a little bit to aim up with the middle thing, okay? Okay? What? Okay. Okay, so the code is. Let me wipe that off. There we go. Uh, where's the code? Oh, 91. Wait, no. 916. <laughs> There you go. Roll up your window and then go. Straighten up, Mom. Oh, yeah, she's perfectly straight. Look at that. Yeah, she's quite straight, actually. Uh, she's actually really straight. Perfect. Let's see how it buzzes. Front. Or not really buzz, but you know what I mean. Oh, the shelf sign's gone. <laughs> it's funny. That's the old one. This is the new one. All right, and the free soak or and a uh, tri foam. Probably smells amazing. Got a little competition over there. Oh, you smell it. Oh, it smells like bubble gum. Oh, that smells so good. All right, and tri foam and uh, soft recycle. There go the brushes. I don't think the tire scrubbers work. I mean, they might. Maybe when the top brush is on. Oh my god, that smells so good. 
Oh, it smells really good. <clears throat> yeah, this car needed a car wash badly. All right, top brush. Tire scrubbers don't look like they work. <clears throat> There's some graffiti on one of the brushes. Uh, top brush. Throw the pneumatic kiss. Here it comes. Turn on before it came down. That's crazy. Oh, it's not collapsing. Look at that. Oh, they do work. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, the tire scrubbers actually work. Oh, that is cool. I thought they didn't work, but no, they do work. <laughs> I heard that squeal from the pneumatic. Watch, they actually work. Look. Well, let me get to show you this one. Look at that, and the other one works too. You can see both of them work. That is cool. Okay, the tire scrubbers do work now. So, no wonder there's no error code, so of course everything will work. Even the gantry wiper and the oscillator mover should oscillate for the dryers. I'm not gonna touch the brushes, because I don't want to get... What is that? Is that mine? Yeah, I dropped it, that's great. Fell in my pocket. <laughs> Shuts off. Now the dryer should turn so on. So the dryer should turn on. Yeah, that's bot free. Alright, prepare for the dryers. They're gonna be loud, so here we go. Starting the rain. Here we go. Ooh, that got me wet. Did they oscillate? Yes, they do. Oh, they fixed it. Yeah, the dryer's oscillate now. Gauge driver went across. I didn't miss it. Oh well. Oh, I've seen the gauge wipe go across before. Is the boomer's oscillate? Look at them strong dryers. Holy crap.
that is. That did a, wow, look at that, that did an excellent job. Kinda got left soap on it, but oh well. And yes, the dryers do move. Oh, that's good. Yep, gauge wiper went across, it's not move. And those still oscillate, which is crazy. Yeah, so I guess there's no error codes. Judging by the error code box, there was no number on it, or numbers on it, so yeah. We get a thumbnail of this guy. Don't get dropped in my head, hold the dryers for the air coming out of the dryers. Yeah, that did a really good job. No error codes, which is <laughs> really good. Undercarriage, we see a switch for it. Pressure pump. That's what shuts it off when it hits the back tires. So apparently this is a retrofitted XS. Did I get a thumbnail? Okay, yeah. Just didn't see the first time. What the hell's happening over there? What the hell? Oh, he's got to respond to a call. That's what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Over there. Okay, anyways, that is going to be it. Let me get a picture of the thing again. There's a Dayton heater up there. Tires are still spinning. Yep, so apparently this is an XS from... What does that say? That was an M3. Yeah, so it's an XS, not an, it's not an XS2, it's just a standard XS. The brushes have been retrofitted, of course, because that's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Oops.